Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft. I just did a video on the five C's of survivability, the five essential items you should carry with you into the woods. Well, today I'm gonna go over the 10 C's, or some people call it the 10 piece kit. I'm gonna go over a budget friendly option with that. It's gonna take the original five C's, it's gonna add another five C's to make it a more well-rounded kit that can get you further and more of a 72 hour self-rescue, self-help, or just waiting out and waiting to be rescued. So stay tuned. All right, so I have the other five C's. Now I'm gonna tell you what the five C's are before I get into it. So the original five C's are a cutting tool, a combustion device, a container, cover and cordage. Well now the next five C's are cotton material, a compass, a canvas needle, a cargo tape, and candling device, which is a flashlight or some kind of a light. Okay, so for this kit, the five C's kit I had in this condor pouch. Well now I'm gonna upgrade to a day pack. This is a Coleman Walmart day pack. Not very expensive. You could use a school bag, a school backpack that you have laying around. You don't need something fancy to go have fun in the woods. And uh, especially if this is something that you're going to need, uh, having it with you is more important than what you're carrying it in. As long as it's reliable and it's not going to break down on you, you can carry it in anything. You can carry it in a Walmart plastic bag if you had to but uh, this is a little more convenient than that but anything to get you out there okay all right so now going through the next five C's uh, of survivability and we're gonna start with cotton cotton material so in this one I just have a cotton bandana I think it was one dollar nothing fancy well, it's camouflage, so it's kind of fancy, but uh, cotton. The reason cotton is because you can make band-aids out of it. You can you turn it into char cloth for your secondary fire. You can filter water through it, so you can put it on your container and then get all the bugs and sticks and stuff out of your nasty water before you boil it. There's a million uses you can use with a cotton bandana. I'm not going to get through all of them, but there's a lot. You can look up on YouTube. The, there's 100 uses for a cotton bandana. There's a lot of first aid and a lot. You can get it wet, evaporative cooling, wrap it around your neck. You can wipe the sweat off your face. The list goes on and on and on. Okay. Next would be a compass. Okay. Now this is just a cheap Walmart compass. So for me, I know my area. I go to places that I'm familiar with. So I know I'm heading whatever direction. If I get lost, I know there's a highway north of me. So if I have a compass and I can find north, I know that if I just head in that direction, eventually I will see the highway. It might take me a while, but if I head north, Eventually, I will get to a road that is a highway and hopefully I can flag someone down so that they can either bring me back to my vehicle or get me to help. So a compass is very important. This one has a magnifying glass on it so that I can start fire with it as well. So having a rotating bezel so that you can get a bearing on a map if you have a map and a magnifying glass makes this a multi-purpose item. In my expensive kit, I have a much nicer compass that has a lot more multiple uses, but just having a compass and a general knowledge of a direction to head if things aren't going well. It makes the difference between freaking out because you're lost or, okay, I'm lost, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna head north. Keeps you a lot more level-headed keeps you a lot more aware of your surroundings and it keeps you from panicking. So even just having it with you and knowing that you're gonna be okay 
is huge. All right. All right. And then the next C, the candling device. I have a couple options here because one's very cheap. One's a little bit more expensive, but I feel one's more, more important than the other. So a candling device can be as simple as a flashlight. It has high and low, and it's just a Rayovac flashlight that I got at Walmart. Nothing fancy about it. Uh, it just lights up your way. But the thing with a flashlight is now I have one of my hands held up. Okay, If I want to use my cutting device, I have my flashlight and this, it makes it a lot more awkward to try to get stuff. You know, you're doing one of these numbers, you know, trying to get it to work. And so what I feel is even better than something as simple as a flashlight is a headlamp. I think a headlamp will serve a lot more purposes than a flashlight because I can turn this on and I can hold it like a flashlight. But having it on my head like a headlamp, I now free my hands. I now can hold my piece of wood and whittle it. I can now point it wherever I need to. I can light it up down trail and keep things out of my face. I can, when, wherever I look, that's where the light is. You know, so if I'm looking, it's lit up. It's lit up. You know, where with a flashlight, you're like, what is that? And then you got to go. You know, that could be an animal coming at you. It could be anything. And just turning your head and looking at it, that light will probably scare it away. And so I think a headlamp has a lot more versatility. This one has high or low, medium, high, and then it has a blinking. So now I can use it for rescue as a signaling device. It also has red light. And so that red light can be used to keep your night adjusted vision. So I'm not blinding everybody when I walk into camp. I can have that red light on so that I can still see, but I'm not disturbing everybody as I'm doing what I need to do. Mostly going to the bathroom, but you never know. All right, and then I mix two of the last C's together. So I have cargo tape, which is duct tape. This is just 3M style duct tape. Uh, just a roll, two inch roll. But attached to it, let's see if I can bring it up to you. Attached to it, I have a needle. And that needle is just, it's just a yarn needle. That way I can string 550 cord through it. It has a big eye for yarn. So I can take the inner strands out of 550 cord and I can sew up my pants if I rip my pants. I can sew up my backpack. I can sew up lots of things. <clears throat> Your sport, you should have a canvas needle. So it should be sharp and then so that you can punch through leather and use it kind of as an awl. But having this yarn needle, it's better than nothing at all. If your tarp rips, if your shelter gets a big hole in it, sewing it shut, taping it, waterproofing it again, you now are back in business. You're right where you left off. Your tarp's a little funny looking, but at least it's still serving the purpose it was meant to serve. And so having these 10 C's, this 10 piece kit, the cutting, the cutting tool, combustion device, uh, container, cover, cordage, then cotton, candling, compass, cargo tape, and canvas needle, you now have the ability to make it a long period of time. As long as you have the resources, as long as you're in the woods and you have wood for fire, and as long as you're by a lake or a stream or a pond or a puddle, so that you have water that you can boil, as long as you have resources around you, you have everything you need to utilize those resources. It's as simple as a highway. I use the highway as a resource. This compass will get me to that highway if I ever get lost. I'll never be in a 72 hour emergency situation because I know I can walk for a long time in one day and I can make it to that highway. And so having this compass really changes a lot of things. Having light, you know, to keep the boogeyman away. Sometimes you're out, you're having fun, all of a sudden the sun's going down and you still have a long hike back to the vehicle. 
well, things get kind of scary sometimes just being in the dark, you know. There's a different noises and there's different creaks and cracks of the trees, you know, that you didn't notice before. And now you're a lot more alert and worried about it. It could be as simple as there's a log in your path and instead of tripping on it, you now have the ability to see it and step over it instead of scraping your face on the ground because you tripped on something that could have easily been avoided, you know. All these things have such a multitude of purposes and by having such a simple kit that fits in such a small bag, I don't know why anybody would leave home without it. Again, whether you're hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, anything outdoors, by having this kit, you have the ability to make it through any situation that it comes to you as long as you have the knowledge to utilize the items you put in this kit. It's also why I used a Bic lighter. Everybody knows a Bic lighter. There's a fire, you know, it's easy. If something were to happen, I don't want to have to figure out how something works. I need to know how it works. I need to go get that fire going. I could light this bandana on fire and light something else. I could light the tape on fire. You know, I have fire instantly with this lighter. If an emergency, I have what I need and I know how to use it. So, them are my 10C kit. That's not my personal 10C kit, but it's my personal budget 10C kit. Stay tuned in this series. I'm going to go over my personal 10C kit. A lot of it is different. It's all the same stuff. It's still the 10 C's, but like my compass, for instance, has a lot more multiple uses. It's a nicer compass, and so it can be used for a lot more things. Uh, a lot more skill is involved with an expensive kit. It doesn't have to be that way, but mine is. And so don't forget to subscribe. Come join the pack so that you can learn and maybe even teach me a thing or two so that we can keep making videos, keep learning together. So thanks guys.